Uh, when Vice Pre President-elect Kamala Harris delivered her first speech after the election, she had a powerful message. Do you remember this? She said, quote, while I may be the first woman in this office, I won't be the last. What does that mean for our young women? And what does it mean for their path of possibilities? We thought we'd check in with young viewers from all over Southern California. Are you ready to say hello? Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, I want a raise of hands. I want to introduce you to Leela from Carson. Hi, Leela. Safina yeah. from Burbank. Hi. My darling Korea from Long Beach. I know you from the Long Beach Boys and Girls Club. Hi. Pragya from the San Gabriel Valley. Where are you? Hi. Hi, darling. And not to be left out, Lydia from Santa Monica. I'm okay, Kayla. Thank Hi, you. Hi, darling. Lydia, why don't I start with you? What What is this meaning? How are you feeling on the cusp of history being made as a woman steps in to be inaugurated for the very first time in our nation's history? Yeah, so Vice President elect Kamala Harris has now opened the doors for diversity and inclusion in the White House. Uh, this is very monumental for young girls across America to prove that they are able to achieve anything. Korea, what does it mean to you as you as you see history being made to see a black woman, to see a woman of South Asian heritage become the vice president? I feel it's a huge milestone we have crossed. We went from not being able to vote to being the person being voted for. Hmm. It's just amazing. And especially because she went to Howard and stuff, it, <laughs> it's just very inspiring to let us be most know that we can do it. Safina, somebody, uh, one of my colleagues, one of my favorite colleagues said, if you can see it, you can be it. Does this maybe make you think one day about you being a potential leader? Um, yeah, I wanted to be president, but like, I realized how hard of a position it is. And it's just encouraging to other women telling them that they can be anything, they can do anything they want, they can achieve their dreams. Right. And Leela, I mean, I hear all of this from each of you about about the impact. Tell me how you're feeling on this eve of the inauguration. What does it mean to you? Politics aside, what does it mean to you to see a woman stepping into the vice presidential role? What it means to me to see a woman stepping into that presidential role is inspiring because it gives me more potential on saying, yes, I can do this. Not just me, but other black teens as well and other kids that have a dream as a female to be in president. Pragya, I stand on the shoulders of, um, oh, Ledia, actually. Oh, no, I did Ledia already. Pragya, I want to talk to you. Sorry, I'm jumping all around. Pragya, I stand on the shoulders of other female journalists that came before me, other women of color that stood before me. And I know you think about that. If you see people that look like you doing the things you want to do, it gives you a bit more hope, does it not? Definitely. It's super inspiring just to see uh, such a historic moment and experience it um, in my time. And on top of that, I'm sure that Kamala Harris is an inspiration to young women and girls all around the nation. What kind of conversations are you hearing, Korea, from other, you know, you know, in the Boys and Girls Club? I know y'all talk about other things, uh, you know, not just sports and music and TikToks and what have you. Are, are kids talking about what this means? Um, actually, yes. I've seen a lot of stuff even on our social platforms, Instagram and stuff. We're far away from the Boys and Girls Club, but we're still really connected. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of people just happy about like, especially for being a person of color, Black to be specific. And just people are just very, very, very inspired and happy and they're just encouraged to do more. Leela, it's interesting. We're kind of behind as a nation, right? You look at other countries, they've had presidents and prime ministers that were women. It's taken us a long time here, hasn't it? Yes, it 100% has. And for it to actually happen, it's like mind blowing because people used to think of us as really being low and not being able to do anything besides rap, dance, and et cetera. So it really changed people in a different perspective. You make a really profound point, honey. And that hurts my heart to think that women like you, you know, I'm sitting here, Auntie Michaela, looking at you young girls with all your futures ahead of you and all the possibilities. But the fact is, if you've been told repeatedly that you are something or you cannot achieve something, it starts to get into your head. So I imagine this feels like something really positive. Um, so, uh, Safina, what are the kids at school saying about the inauguration? Are, what, are they, what are you hearing from your friends? 
Honestly, since like my pod is honestly like full of younger kids, they don't know much about it, but the older kids, we usually just say, oh, who did you vote? Like, or who would you vote? Or like, what do you think about it? We usually say Biden, 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 um, <laughs> because, well, that's what people wanted. And then for vice president, I was like, who did he vote for vice president? And they were like, Camilla Harris, Camilla Harris, all the girls, <laughs> all the girls. Lydia, if you were able to speak to this new administration and say, here are the, the few things that I think you need to deal with right now, what, what would be among them? I think injustice is a big topic, especially in 2020. We saw a lot of injustice happening to our democracy. So injustice and like being united with America in its entirety, because there's a lot of division right now. So having more of a connection with one another is very important. Praga, I saw you nodding. You want to add yes. to that? Yeah, uh, yeah of course. Um, going off of what you said, I think it's super important to um, go back to the fundamentals of what our nation is built on, and that's um, being united. You know, we are known as the United States of America, mm -hmm. and I feel like that is something that the administration needs to focus on. So I just wanted to agree with what she said. And how about you, Korea? If you could actually whisper in the ear of Kamala Harris and give her a good word, give her a little bit of encouragement as she goes in, because, you know, obviously the stress is high. We've seen a lot of division in the country. There's a lot of security around uh, uh, the inauguration tomorrow because of what we saw happen in D.C. last week. If you could give her a little bit of a pep talk, Korea, what would you say? I would honestly just tell her to be her. I know a lot of females, when we get into a higher position, we feel we have to take the man's role and we have to be better than them. But I feel uh, us as women, we have a lot of more communication skills and more creative. She just needs to be the woman she is and just do great for us. How about you, Leela? I feel like, first of all, I want, I want y'all to run for office. <laughs> here's, our new here's our new cabinet. I'm going to give you a few years to, you know, get tried in, in, uh, in, in the fire here and, 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 and strengthen some of your stances. Leela, what would you say to Kamala Harris? What would you want her to know about you and the kids just like you in Southern California in the Boys and Girls Club? What I'll say to Camilla Harris is um, just keep doing what she's doing to inspire others because what she's doing right now is just more perfect than what she could do in the future. Wow. Well, ladies, uh, you warmed the cockles of Auntie Michaela's heart very much. I'm very proud of you. Special shout out, by the way, can I get the other four of you to give a, a shout out to Safina? She's the youngest member of this panel at 13 years old. She was able to talk in front of a bunch of strangers, in front of a bunch of women that are a lot older than she is, and she did really well. So can we give a little round of applause to our Safina? Because she did such a brilliant job. Represent Burbank, represent <laughs> to all of you. Uh, Leela. Safina, Korea, Pragya, and Lydia, thank you so much. And we're going to do this from time to time. We're going to broaden out to some of your fellow Boys and Girls members and invite you guys on to sort of give us a, a temperature check of where we, we haven't even talked about social distancing. We haven't even talked about doing that distance learning. So just, you know, if you get an email, re respond back, okay? Of course. <laughs> okay, back okay. to school, kids. Thanks so much for being here. We appreciate it.